I think I'm live now. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, hello, everybody. Hey, Shannon. Hi, Pam. I wore my Pamarols out yesterday. They kept me nice and warm and comfortable. I was thrilled. Love my Pamarols. So I'm going to make some inchies tonight. I got, I got my little inchies all cut out, my little one inch squares. How's everybody doing tonight? I got, I have what? I have two people. I have two people. That's all right. It's just us. The important people are here. <laughs> yes, they will come. They're just all ending from Anne and Carol and Deb. So that's all right. Now, this one, this one I cooked already. Let me see. Oops. I need to get a little piece of cotton. I am so thrilled. This recording is so much better. I don't pixelate. It's, I, oh, I'm so thrilled with StreamYard. You don't even know. I'm so happy. Okay, I'm going to take the sticky layer off. I hope I don't saturate my paper too much. I did underneath. Uh-oh. I may end up having to do both sides. We'll see. Okay, so I got the sticky layer off, or did I? Yes, I did. I got the sticky layer off. Now I want to get my little, make a little background, and I think I'll start off with blue. I gotta make a little fine mist. And I just put a little drop on. Oops, it's not blooming. Hmm, maybe I need more alcohol. There we go. It did a little something that time. There we go. Now it's doing something. Okay. Need a little bit more than a fine mist of alcohol when you're doing it with the base coat. This is a nail product. And since I don't do nails anymore, and it was just sitting there going to waste, so I'm trying to see different ways that I can use it. It kind of reminds me of the effect that alcohol ink gives you. And since this works so beautifully with alcohol, I'm kind of wondering if it isn't the same type of product.
Can you all see all right? And then once I get the background done, this is how to make them from scratch, little inchies from scratch. I also have them, the backgrounds pre-made from painty papers and cardstock, um, jelly prints and whatnot that I bought from people because I don't do jelly prints. That's one thing I just absolutely cannot stand. I love watching it being done, but I don't like doing it. So I have whole bunches here that have already got backgrounds on them. And all you do is cut those up into inches and embellish. But when you've got a blank piece of paper, that's why I wanted to do it from scratch so people can, you know, if they just need one or two and they just don't have anything that suits their fancy, they can, you can create your own. This one's going to be done with blooming polish. It's not working out so well on the paper, even though I sealed it with the proper stuff. It actually doesn't look too bad. Hi, Stitch It Pam. I got, I got made by Pam and stitch it, Pam. <sighs> so this isn't coming out too bad. I kind of like the modeled look that it's coming up with on its own. I think I'm going to have to do... A base coat, top coat, this, and then another top coat because the first coat is kind of saturating through and it's not. Hmm. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, thank you, Shannon. Yes, don't forget to thumbs up. I would appreciate it if you people would do that. That would be so great. I would be grateful. Yes. Thank you. Okay, let's see if I do it. Now it doesn't want to do it at all. Hmm, okay. So that's what happens when you just put the base coat on. So now let's try. Let's get the base coat on. Okay. <laughs> So let's get the base coat on for the product. Ah! Okay. So, dee 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 dee, do a dee 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 dum dee dee do. So a needle pulling thread, love I know to follow. So, tea I drink a gin and bread. 
Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my little UV light that's back here. I don't want it on in the camera. And I set my little timer. And in the meantime, I'm going to seal this one. No, I'm not because my light's on and I don't want it to harden before time. Uh, and I think since that one's set so dark, I'm going to... Blue and orange goes quite well together and I think I'll just add an orange flower. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add... An orange flower for decoration and I'm gonna call that one done because then I can put it on a twin chi. All of mine are decorated though except this one. I put it in the corner and then when I put it in a journal this can be like a little tuck. A little tuck spot. I could tuck a piece of paper into it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So I have to seal that first before I can put anything on it. But I can't seal it until the rest comes out. And take a sip of my drink. <sighs> Made by Pam. Did I tell you that some of the fabric that you sent me, I don't know if you doused it with catnip on purpose or what you all got going on at your house. But my cats, both of them, have found this fabric and have rolled in it and have nudged up against it and have bunny kicked it and have chewed on it and have rolled around in it. And they are just having the most fun with this piece of fabric. This piece of fabric right here, this one, they unbelievable what they are doing. They, it's making me laugh. They're having such fun with it, rolling around in it. You didn't put anything in it. <laughs> well, I thought maybe you had as a treat for my kitties. I don't know. They are just having the most fun with that piece of fabric. I have never seen them do that with any of my fabric ever. But that one piece is just... They're having a blast with it. Okay, so that can un that can come out. This is the base coat. So I need to seal it with the top coat. Ooh, it really shows up nice with the top coat. Hmm. Maybe it's not gonna be as bad as I thought. Yeah. Okay, so now we have to put that and cure that. And while it is curing, I'll work on these two. Shannon, you made your daughter a dishcloth and her cat decided it was <laughs> Hi, Stacy. Stacy May, how are you this evening? Is it evening for you? It's evening for me. It's probably only late afternoon for most everybody out. Maybe he dropped some. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so now I have to take 
the sticky layer off. Okay, so the sticky layer is off of that. And then I need to put the top coat on. But I can't do it while the light's on because it'll start to cure right away. Even though the light is over there and my piece is over here, the light is still shining that way. You can still see it a little bit shining. Okay, so we'll turn that off. Now I can do it. All right. Stacy, I'm still working with this product. I found a way to wake it make it work on paper but it's got to be the product <laughs> i'm following the directions <laughs> i'm putting the base coat on to seal the paper and make it smooth and then i'm putting the top coat on and then i'll be able to use the product i think i'm following the directions Oh. <laughs> Hi, Stuffy. You know what inches are now? Well, you can you can create them from painty papers that you've, you know, create the background with painty papers you've already got and just cut them up into inches like I did with these all of these or if you just want a few you can do them individually especially if you're just trying out a new product or just experimenting okay ah, get that on the tray all right we'll get those in there turn the timer on now, this one is sealed. Okay, I hope it's sealed anyway. What's sticky? My table is sticky. All right, now... That one we decorated already. I mean, we backgrounded. We backgrounded? We put a background? Hi, Tori. Nice to see you. We put a background on it. And now I'm going to take this flower right here, and I'm just going to put it on the center of it. And I think I will do that with my, uh, my Mod Podge. Wipe it off on my towel. Put a little bit of Mod Podge on there. And then put that on there like that. And then I want to decorate the corner of my twinchy with my inchy. Tori, in case you haven't been introduced, Art Junkie's name is Shannon, if you want to call her Shannon. You you can. Hmm. 
Okay, so yes, I want to put that on there like that. I'm going to take some more of my Mod Podge. Put it on there like that. Put that on there like that. And set it aside to dry. I gotta take that off of there. There. And I'll set that aside to dry. Here's a couple of other twinchies I've decorated with inchies that I put, um, I just decorated each one with washi tape. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, I decorated each one with washi tape and then I just glued them in the corner. And these are going to be little tucks. And then these are some other twinchies that are decorated already. This one just has a little tiny applique and a button and some lace with a little ribbon. That was on the background. This lace, this ribbon, this brown piece of paper, that was already on the background. This was a prompt along that I didn't like the looks of, so I cut it up. And then I just added this little applique and this button and now I absolutely love it. I think it is great. Again, the same background. I didn't like it. Um, so I put the picture of a doggy and his little paw prints on there and now it's the cutest little thing. So even if you don't like your prompt along art, don't throw it away. Cut it up into smaller pieces and embellish it and you end up with some really, really cute art. A twinchy is two by two, yes. A twinchy is two by two. And then this one, um, it was just a painty paper and all I did was stick a 3D sticker on it. And that was all I needed to do with that one, it was done. These two came off the same paper that I did this ATC from. This was part of the cardboard, or not cardboard, cardstock that didn't have the ladies on it, but it was pretty and glittery and I didn't want to throw it away. So this one I added a medallion and this was lace ribbon and I didn't want to use the whole solid piece of lace so I cut it apart and just use the flowers and this one I have a little tiny beetle bug and some little flowers on it and to me those are both done the only things I have left to do on any of these that are done is maybe go around the edges with either brown black or gray um and or I mean not gray silver brown black or silver or gold um, those are the four, four colors I like to use. In the case of these two, I don't know if I want to go around them or not, but if I do, it'll probably be with a darker purple. But those are some ways to decorate or embellish your twin cheese and your in cheese. But this was all about starting from scratch. So let's take these out. They are dry. I must have used the top coat. Yes, I did. All right, now. Let's see if we can have some fun with these and I will use, let's see, do we want green or pink? I want pink. I want pink. I want pink. I want pink. 
So, just a tiny little mist of alcohol. I'm going to use the pink. And let's see what happens. Ta da! Ooh! That's working out nice. Did you all see it bloom? Let's do some over here. So pretty. So very pretty. Hmm? Alcohol dried. Let's just lightly mist it again. This is coming out nice. I'm glad you can't see me. My tongue's hanging out. <laughs> Ooh, I like how that one came out. What color should we do this one? Green, yellow, blue, pink, black, rust. <laughs> Okay, that one's done. We have to seal that one. Mm. Let's go for green. Why not? It's my favorite color. Rust? Okay, Tori, we'll use rust. Rust. Okay, let me oops, spray just a fine mist. Ta da! Ooh! What am I using for colors? I am using Blooming Nail Gel Polish by McCart. And Stacy and I did a whole lot of testing the other day. <laughs> and I have discovered that you have to use the base coat and top coat that comes with it or it doesn't want to work. I was a nail tech for a lot of years and I have a lot of product and it was just sitting there doing nothing. So I decided I wanted to see if I could use it in my crafts. It does work on paper, but it's very, very muted.
This is really cool. I love this stuff. Okay. Now, we'll put it on here, wait for the blooming stuff to dry, and then we'll top coat it. So... I'm going to seal it in. And let's see, is this one dry yet? Yeah, that one's dry. Okay. Okay, now let's get those in the timer. I mean, in the machine. Start the timer and let's see. I will Ooh, there's a nice pink flower, but I think that'll get lost in the pink. I think I want to put this little rust butterfly. You weety tiny little with it. Bye, Shannon. Bye, Shannon. Hi, Lizzie. How are you? I haven't seen you for a little while. So I'm going to take this little butterfly and I'll take this little butterfly and we'll put that on the rust one and on the pink one. Hmm. Maybe we'll do this blue butterfly. And this, how about we'll do the purple butterfly with a little purple teddy, teddy bear. They are teeny, they come from these canes. of clay and I just take a razor and slice off the ends and I cut these tiny tiny little things oh we'll put the purple flower on there too okay and maybe this yellow butterfly or how about We'll put two of those butterflies. We'll see. All right. Let's turn off the light. And let's see now on the pink one. See if I put the pink flower on the pink one, it kind of gets lost in there. Although it's not too, too bad. But I think... I think I like the little teddy bear. And the little flower. And I want to put the little purple butterfly on the flower.
Actually, I think I want to put a piece of paper on there first. Maybe just reach it. Maybe just a little bit of purple. <laughs> Yeah, maybe just a little bit of purple paper there. Ooh, I'm liking that. And we'll put the little bear on the paper. And instead of a purple flower, I'm going to do... Another light purple butterfly. We'll put two butterflies in the air and a bear on the paper. Woo! That's really small. Let me see if I can lift that up. So that's how that's going to go. Just very sweet and simple. And then on the rust one, I'm going to put a couple of little flowers together. When the butterflies flying around, I'll put those there and that one there. Hi, Dawn. How are you? And let's see. Do I have another one of those or do I need a different one? Mm, maybe this little guy. Nope, I don't like that one there. Well, I can always cut myself another butterfly. I can find him. Okay. If anybody doesn't like slicing, look away because I'm going to use my slicer. All right. This is how it works. You grab the cane. And you go straight down. Just like that, but you take off the end because sometimes the end is cruddy. There we go. There we got three little butterflies and a little bouquet of flowers. And I think I want to put another purple butterfly on this one. In a different direction. There we go. It's actually considered a soft clay, and yes, it's it's been hardened. You can't reform it or remold it. It's been baked, but it's still flexible. So it's still flexible, so you can cut through it. But it's not soft that, like, you can remold it. And, yes, it comes that way. And there's a certain few that I got from a nail vendor. And then the rest I actually got on Wish. So, 
Let me entertain you. Okay, let's put those back in there. Those are just extras, and they build up and collect up after a while. Do do do, weety tiny little whiffets. Okay, you get back in there. See, this has whole bunches of different butterflies in it. All right, let me get out my Mod Podge again. And I think. Nope, I don't want to do that color. I think that one doesn't need paper. I think the other one needed paper, but this one doesn't. Okay, so i take my Mod Podge. Go one, two, three, four, five. Like that. And I'll take one butterfly and put it there. And one butterfly. I did not make them. I bought these off of Wish. I bought a few of them off some some nail vendors. Um, but then I found the same thing on Wish, or very, very similar on Wish, for like three bucks as opposed to $9.95. So, of course, I stocked up from Wish. And then I got sick. <laughs> And I got stuck with the stock, so I figure I use it in my journaling and my crafts. There, we got three little butterflies. So there's this one. Two little flowers and three little butterflies. I'm gonna put that there to dry, and then this one. I'm gonna put the paper on the corner. And then we'll put the bear. On the paper. And then we'll put the butterflies fluttering around up top. And there's that. Oops, that one didn't have enough glue. This stayed stuck to me. And then there's that one. I cannot believe how much clearer StreamYard is. I'm so thrilled. I'm so thrilled. Okay. Now. I want to do Stacy. What Stacy and I tried to do. She suggested and it worked on the paper. So I'm not going to treat the paper at all. I'm just going to spray it with alcohol. And I'm going, well, I'm going to put these away first before I spill them. Let's see, those were the butterflies. And then these are all different types of kitty cats. Stacy, kitty cats. Okay. 
These are all different kinds of flowers and starfish. Blue starfish. This is all different kinds of kitty cats and teddy bears. This one's all kinds of fruits. And this one's all kinds of just little flowers. Oh, and this one is leaves and different colors of peacock feathers. And these are stars. I don't like them. They're just plain old stars. There's only one star in there that I like, and that's the purple one because it has a white center. Other than that, I don't like those stars. And I'm not a heart person, so I didn't even bother to put the hearts in a container. But all the rest of these down in here are different color hearts. So that's all of those now. All right. What color am I going to use now? I think I'll use the green one. I'm going to use the green. Hello, Kim. On this coming Wednesday at... One o'clock Eastern time, Kim and I are going to be live, and Kim is going to teach the very basics of crochet. She's going to teach the single crochet. And if my brain wraps itself around it, maybe then we'll do the double crochet. And I don't know what else she's going to do, but so if you want to learn the basics of crochet, Yep, all kinds of kitties. Um, come see us. We'll be live. Oops, I forgot to put the razor away. Let's get it off the table so I don't cut myself. All right, this is green. Now, I need to get the paper wet. And then put the green on. It doesn't go. Oh, this is bleeding a little bit further than it did before. Not much, but a little bit. And it kind of just fades out. Ran out of alcohol. I get the green. Now let me put in. Put in some blue. Ooh. The green and the blue together is pretty, Stacy.
I got them on Wish, Lizzie. I got the canes on Wish. That's with the little... That's everything I just showed you. These are all canes. All the different ones that I showed you. These are all canes. And you take a little razor and you slice off the end. And that's how you get these little designs. You get individual little guys. Like that. They're made with canes. Ooh. I love this. This one, since it's green and blue, what did I do with my... We need kitties. I'm going to make Stacy happy, and we're going to put some kitties. We're going to have a little kitty jamboree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is, um, it's lightweight cardstock. This was a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, and this is one of the six by six sections and it gave me all these inches. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, I have a fish in there too. Uh, let's see. Ooh, this little kitty has a bow. And that's mostly bears. Hold on a second. Let's look at the other one. This little kitty is green. And this blue little kitty has a bow. And and this kitty looks like Amigurumi or Amigurami. So there's the kitty. Oh, wait. Where's the fishy? The fishy is purple. My fishy is purple. This my little fishy. This my little fishy. There's a fishy there. And, ooh, this is a, um, What's his name? This is a fishy. I like that fishy better. Just a fishy there. I'm going to put the purple wing back. And here's another fishy. He's the same kind of fishy, but he's skinny. 
Oh no, that's the fishy edge. No, yeah, he's littler. See, it's the same kind of fishy. He's just a little baby. Come on, focus. So, okay. I got kitties. Let's see, this is a blue and green paper. So let's do the blue and green kitty. And lid fishies. Kitties and fishies. How's kitties and fishies sound? Okay, so here's. I'm going to put him on his ears so that I can hold the razor with both hands. And. Okay. And. Oops, I cut him in half. That's not good. Okay, let's try that again. I made that one kind of thick. Yeah, all right. Now let's try this again. There we go. We got a little blue kitty with a little blue bow. And then we have a green kitty. Let's see now. I have a little green kitty with a little pink nose. And then we have... Oh. Let's try that again. And then we have a little fishy. No, we have a big fishy. <laughs> I couldn't do that again if I tried. Look, he's right on end. <laughs> oh. And we got a little fishy. Okay. And got a little fishy. And I think we need them all going in all kinds of directions here. So let's put some kitties over there and kitty over there. And fishy over there and fishy over there. No, Kim, they've already been baked. They're just flexible. They've already been baked. They're already baked. So, actually, I'm going to put the green kitty on a blue spot. There we go. And I'm going to put the blue kitty on a green spot. He will show better. And I we need some more kitties on there. We're gonna have a kitty jamboree. I'll put another kitty over here. Next to the other fishy. And let's get another little fishy. I'm getting a little fishy there. Let's put the blue kitty in the middle. There we go. Like that, like that, like that. Put that fishy there. This is just going to be a little jamboree. Dee 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 dee. 
Hello, Barbara. Hello, hello, Chicken Pot Pie Society. I think we need another kitty. We need an odd number, so we need another kitty. Let's put another kitty on there. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Now we got seven pieces. There. That looks good to me. What you guys all think? Little jamboree. Weety tiny little jamboree. Now, what's nice about this is <sighs> top coat. <sighs> you don't have to glue those down because they will stay right in the gel. So we'll put the fishy there, the kitty, whoops, and the kitty there, and the kitty there, the kitty over there. This fishy here, and this fishy here, and this kitty here. And we'll put it. Ah! Alcohol lanch under the UV light, and that will harden. Oh, yeah, the domino pick. Those were really, really pretty. I don't know that I can do that, but I would. Those are inspiring me to do other things. Those are so, so pretty. Mm, can keep the fishies and can keep that kitty, but we gotta throw those away. Okay. If working on this type of project, must we use the different voices as we place the object? Asking for a friend. <laughs> well, Barbara, I'm glad you guys can't see me because my tongue was sticking out too. So yes, you need to use the different voices or else it doesn't work. You have to spontaneously break out in song and I'm telling you, you got to be. You got to have like, you got to have like little chipmunk voices when you're working with weety tiny little with it projects like this. Oh, wow. I wonder if you guys can see this. This is gonna make a big noise. Hang on. Big, big click. I wanna show you guys something. Look, they glow in the dark. They glow under black light. <laughs> okay, I'm putting you back up. They're cooked. Okay. And now let's put the second coat. Oops, that little 
fishy didn't stick. Get over there. Where you belong? Okay. Meow, 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 meow. Okay. Oops, I forgot to turn the light off while I was doing that, but that's all right. Okay. Second coat, set the timer. All right. A leather jacket for a Barbie. Of course you are. It's a bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini that she wore for the first time today. And it's a bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. So in the locker she wanted to stay. Two, three, four. Stick around, we'll tell you more. Don't, 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 don't. Hi, Sherry. How are you? I'm making inches. She was afraid to come out of the water. She did not know what to do. She was afraid to come out of the water. Now this poor little girl is turning blue. Two, three, four, tell the people what she wore. Hi, Teresa. Yes, yeah, Sherry, there's a chipmunk over here. Because we're working with weety tiny little whiffet things, so we had to have a little chipmunk voice to work to be able to work with the weety tiny little things. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to sound like a chipmunk. Stacy, remember when I sounded like a chipmunk when the hairdryer was going? You said I sounded like a chipmunk when the hairdryer was going on your stream. Okay. There we are. It's all sealed and done. Ta-da! Voila. Okay, so that's NG number three. And you know what? I'm tempted to seal these ones in as well. Maybe later. We'll see. Okay, now... <laughs> Seven million to go. No, just this many. This many started from scratch, and then this many already have a background on them. I have a lot of inchies. Do one with frogs. Oh, let's see if I have a frog. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We gave fishy and koala bear and a... 
guy with a funny looking hat and I honestly don't know what this little thing is. Shaped like this and colored brown, it would be a pile of poop. But shaped like this and colored yellow, is it a little cheeky? Must be a little cheeky, I don't know. But shaped like this colored brown, it'd be poop. 25 million. <laughs> So let's see. I need a frog. I need a frog. I need a frog. Oh, there's another little fish. No, that's a little guy. Oh, that's a frog dressed in clothes. No, we don't want that. Let me see if I have a frog. Out of all of this stuff, I don't have a frog. That's not fun. I must have a frog. Okay, no frog in there. That's all flowers. This is butterflies, moths, one dragonfly, a half a moth, a half a butterfly. Okay, no frogs in there. This is all fruits and one hot pepper. No frogs in there. This is all leaves and feathers. No frogs in there. This is... What is this? Smiley faces and flowers. No frog in there. Sworn I had a frog. Hmm, I'm looking for frogs. They don't want to get zapped, is right. The only thing I have closest to a frog is this little froggy guy. In a sweatshirt. And he's not even really a frog. He's just a little guy that looks like a frog. No frog legs. I don't have no frog. Well. Poo. I'm really sorry about that, Pam. No frogs. Hmm. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I knew I had a frog. He's almost gone. It's just his head, and he's got a big white smile. <laughs> There's a frog. Trying to get him to be not blurry.
Okay. I'm going to make one with a frog. I got to put these away where they belong here. Hold on a second. Okay. Frog on a lily pad? Okay, let's see. Will he show up? He should show up on the lily pad. Yeah, or on the yellow. No, I don't like that one. Frog on the lily pad. I don't like that one. I like that one better. This one. <laughs> Two was afraid to come out of the locker. Afraid of what people would say. She was afraid to come out of the locker. So in the locker she wanted to stay. Two, three, four, tell the people what she wore. Let's see, do I want to put the frog in with the flowers and the butterfly? Well, first of all, let's get his face a little bit better looking than that. Okay. Straighten him out a little bit here. He's crooked. The frog is tipsy. You don't want no tipsy frogs. Here's a frog. There's a frog. We're going to cut a few of them and see how many we need. There's a frog. There's a frog. There's a frog. Okay. Mm -hmm. That pile of a thousand right there, and this pile of five hundred right here. And let's see, do we want to put the frog on a leopard background? On a butterfly background? Okay, Pam, dragonfly, butterfly, and a leaf. Dragonfly. Okay. The answer is yes. What was the question? Did I miss a question? Did I ask a question and forgot what I asked? Okay. So,
Ow! That hurt. Which one you like better, Pam? Do you want your little frogs on lily pads? They're leaves, but I'm calling them lily pads. Do you want them frolicking with the butterflies? Do you want them in a little garden? Do you want them on just a psychedelic cheetah background? Flowers? Okay. And turn this off. Where's the top coat? This one's been sealed, so I got to do the top coat. In order to stick them on. Okay. One little froggy there. Oops, he lost his eyeball. I don't want that froggy. He's drunk. He lost his eyeball. One little froggy there. One little froggy there. One little froggy there. One little froggy there. <laughs> That's cute. Dragonfly, butterfly, and a leaf. We can do one like that. We certainly can. This one's no good anymore because he's missing an eyeball. Okay, let's get the razor out of the way. Let's put that there and cook it. And frog. Oh, we want. Dragonfly, butterfly, and a leaf. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I got to get this wonky looking dragonfly to the his body's kind of short, but he's cute. So there's the dragonfly. What color butterfly and what color leaf? Uh oh, excuse me just one minute, folks. I will be right back.
Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to go to work. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So. Stacy, you didn't tell me what color butterfly yet. Okay, let me get a couple of little dragonflies cut. One butterfly, I mean dragonfly, two dragonflies, three dragonflies, dark butterfly, light leaf with veins, and then timer went off. The frogs are cooked. Oh, And they're on there. The frogs are cooked. Here's the frogs. <laughs> Here's the frogs. Okay, here's some dragonfly. Dark butterfly. Okay, dark butterfly. So, do we want... The polish. I'm cooking the polish. Stacy, do we want the pink one over there, the purple one over here, or the weird colored one in the middle? Hi, Candy.
Stacy May. These are the three dark butterflies I have. Do you want the pink one, the purple one, or the one in the middle? Oh, there you are. I'm sorry. The one in the middle. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't see it. Okay. So the instructions were... <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Light leaf with veins. Light leaf with veins. Okay. Well, let's put this little guy back. Let's cut some weird butterflies. Let go. Okay, that's one. Ah, that's no good. Straighten it out. Oh man, quit it out, you. Get that off of there now. All right, let's try that again. There. Got you. Okay. And there we go. All right, let's cut a few of those. And put you back. And a light leaf with veins. Slight. Light blue. Yellow. Aw, oh, thank you, Dawn. Aw, oh, thank you, Dawn. Dang it, I can't get the one I want. There we go. Got it. Leaf with veins. Left, right, or middle? A light leaf, left, right, or middle. Everybody said left. That's the blue one. Okay. Turn the light off. Turn off the light. Okay. Oh, I got carried away with the leaves, I guess. All right, now. How's that for a background?
Which one? The blue one or the striped one? The striped one? Okay. Let me get this out of the way. Get these out of the way. Okay. Whoops. Get back over there. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm picking up. Okay. This one. This one is some leafies. Where's the half of one? Where did the half of one go? I don't know. Oh well. And some more leafies. And a little bit of fly. And a dragonfly over there. Mm. And butterfly over here. And a leafy there, and a leafy there. There, he just all be decked. Okay. Oh, there's the half of one. I wanted that to go. All right. So you three go there. You go there. You go there. All right. Okay. You go there. You go there. You go there. I want you to go right against the edge like you're falling off. You go there. There it is. Okay. You go in the middle. 
You go there. There. Oh, you heading out, Barbara? Okay, thank you. Have a good night. Okay, we gotta cook the polish. Take a sip. Hi, Teresa. Thank you for coming. Have a good night. I think that one needs another coat. I agree, Candy. It was too big. It just wasn't working. Okay, I like this one. And I like this one. And I like this one. So, that's not going to work. Um, hmm. I think... Um, 
Oh, no. Please tell me you guys cannot hear the background noise. Please tell me you cannot hear the background noise. Oh, my God, I am so embarrassed. Please tell me you can't hear the background noise. Can you hear the background noise? Anybody, please? Oh, my God. Oh, no. The guy upstairs is a pervert. And he listens to pornographic movies very loud because he's deaf. I'm just grateful you can't hear it. Thank you, Jesus, that you can't hear it. It's so gross. I'm so embarrassed. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he's the upstairs neighbor. And like I said, he's partially deaf. And instead of listening to his TV with headphones, he just turns the volume up and it's disgusting. Uh, okay, so long as you guys can't hear it, that's all I care about. I'm glad you can't hear it. Thank you. Thanking God right now that you can't hear it. Okay, I want to work with those. Um... Oh, boy. Um, I think I want to make a little flower garden. Yeah, it's... <sighs> There's been times that it's been so loud, Dawn, I've had to leave my own apartment and, and go for a drive. Because it's just been that bad. But it's not that loud right now. So I'm dealing. Okay, so I make a little flower garden. Um, let's see. Let's... Whoa, I didn't want them all to come out. But I guess. Oh, look, we got a little bouquet of flowers. Uh, let's see. We got your purple hibiscus. And look at this multi tone flower. And this multi tone flower. And this pretty one. And this greenish one. I like it a lot because it's green. I don't know why, but I know the Bells of Ireland is a beautiful flower and it's green. Had one of my bridesmaids in the green dress carry the green Bells of Ireland down the aisle. You're leaving, Stitch It Pam. Okay, good night. Have sweet dreams. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see now. Can I get them all back in there? I hope. I'll work with it later. Okay. Are there any other flowers in here maybe that aren't in there? What's this one again? Nope. What's this one again? Oh, that's a little... Oh, I keep hitting the camera. I'm so sorry. Whee! How about this turquoisey one? I like that one. There we go. Okay. And okay. And let's put the cover on that. And let's put that like that. Over there. Okay. Now let's make some. Uh, 
Let's cut some flowers. I'm going to lift this up again. So hang on, you guys are going to get a little seasick. You need to. Okay, so let's. Ooh, that's a hard one to cut. Yo. Ah. It's a good thing my fingers aren't in the way. Okay. Oops, that one's too thick. I don't like that one. Okay. I'm going to cut a couple of those. Um, let's cut the bouquet. A few times and we'll make it an even bigger bouquet. By putting them different which ways like that. Make a bigger bouquet. You're off to Kim Poulton. Okay. Have a good night. And if I don't see you soon, or I'll definitely see you Wednesday. Thank you for coming, Kim. I appreciate it. Okay. There's some green flowers, there's some bouquets. This is purple hibiscus. Never seen a purple hibiscus in my life, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. We might need to cut a few leaves. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we got a few of those. Oh, Don, she would love that. Okay, there's some of those flowers and some two-toned ones here. I'll cut a few of those. Oh, didn't want that. <laughs> Come on, straighten out. Thank you. Okay, and that one, 
Okay. Put that over there. <laughs> okay, so let's start with one of these and do one of these and we'll do one of these and it has a leaf on it and we'll do one of oops I missed do one of these Two purple ones together. Do this one. Ooh, no, I don't like that on there. Okay. We'll do a green one. Oh, yeah, there we go. We'll do a green one. Like that. And then we'll put another one of these on this side. There, now we've got a little bouquet of flowers, just like that. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up! <laughs> I'm going to come down again just a little bit. Because these things are so small, I want you to be able to see them. Mm. I think I want to push that up this way more. Oops. That. And I want to add this little paper flower over here. Nope, I don't. I want to add this little flower over here. And then I want to add this other one with a leaf on this side. Like that. You don't bring me flowers, honey. Actually, I should have put the top coat on first because now I gotta replace them all. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Make a little bouquet of flowers. Where's the top coat? This is the top coat. You don't bring me flowers. You don't sing me love songs. You hardly talk to me anymore. When I come through the door at the end of the day, I remember when you used to say you loved me, you couldn't wait to reach me. Now after loving me, Lisa, 
you made it. Good to see you. Happy to see you here. Okay, let's see if I can duplicate what I did. This one goes on a pink. This one goes on a blue. Hey, stay where I put you. Eh, I'll probably end up doing a whole new thing. This one is green. And this one is red. So we're going to put this one here. We'll come down a little bit. And then we'll put this one here. There, and now we have a little bouquet of flowers. I forgot this one was in here. This is Stacy's other one with the butterflies, leaf, and dragonflies. That's how that one came out. And that came out really pretty. I like that one a lot. Ooh, texture. I love texture. Okay, so that one has to cook. Turn the light on. I just hit the camera again. I'm so sorry. Okay, and now with this one, I want to work with this one and this one. This little one. And this little one. That big one there. This little one here. Let go of me. Let go of me. Thank you. I'll put this one. And where are my leaves? Mm. <laughs> I've had a background check too. Fingerprinted and everything. There's my little bouquet of flowers that came out sweet. Be a human and want to create. <laughs> Although being an animal is fascinating. Oh. Okay. So we need my blade and whoa, come back here.
Alrighty. I don't know. Those are pretty stiff rules to follow, Don. Are you sure? <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to put the leaves on, but the leaves don't want to go. There we go. I got the one. And a two, huh? Okay. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay. Wow. One last one, folks. It's in there cooking. Oh, wow, look, that stuff took my nail polish off. I have a clear tip. It took the tip of my nail polish off. We'll wait for that one to come out and I will go over it one more time. I'm so glad all of you were here with me tonight. Y'all made this stream really a lot of fun. Come on, cook. 35 seconds left.
Ooh, I better put my frog in a safe place. Okay. I think, yep, that's going to need a second coat. And then it will be done. We put the second coat on. Okay, and then take my flowers, put my flowers away. You got to catch the last little bit. Joni, Joni, Joni. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see it. That's our last bouquet. Look how nice that one came out. <laughs> okay, so I think. for my 
purple marker. I guess I put it away and I didn't want to because I knew I was going to use it. Or I put it somewhere. I don't know where I put it. I can't find it. All right. So let's see now. Okay. 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 Whoops, let's turn that off. Yeah, we've got this one that I also made. All right, and let's get hmm. <laughs> I just don't want to use black. I don't, I don't, I don't. Let me see. usually use either black, brown, gold, or silver, but I just don't want to use those colors on these inches. So, see if this one still works. Just want to get rid of those white edges. that. Okay, that one's done. Doesn't even, oops, color doesn't show, but that's okay. At least the white doesn't show anymore either. Okay, so that's that one. I don't mind using brown on this one. Okay, that one's done. I'm going to use purple on this one. Inside. Oops, the gloss went over on the side there. Ah, doesn't want to color. There we go. Okay. Mm. Let's use a pink one on this one. Oh no, that butterfly does not want to stay on. I'm going to have to put a second coat on that one too. I didn't do that. Okay, we'll do that right now while we can.
Okay. I'll put that one under there. That one just needs to cook. And did I do this one? Nope. Let's see. I'll do blue on that one. That one will be nice. There we go. Get rid of that white edge. Oh, yeah. That looks much better. I'll do blue on this one, too. cooking. Oh, I want to do blue on this one too. Well, I gotta tell you, this is unusual for me. Usually I'm using black, brown, gold, or silver. Today I'm using all kinds of colors. And I like it. That's the way, uh huh, uh huh. I like it, uh huh, uh And that one was already done. There. <clears throat> I could just sit and do these for hours. But I didn't get much sleep last night. And it is now 9.30 at night. So these are... what we did what you all think I'm gonna go lower so you guys can I don't think I can go lower yes I can I can go a little bit lower so you guys can see them a little bit better thank you candy Thank you, Stacy. Thank you, Lisa. Well, I'm saying goodbye, Dawn. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Uh, thank you, Kellyanne. I just read my name. Thank you, Dawn. <laughs> Hi, Rocky, and she's thank you. I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to end the stream. I'm going to say goodbye. I want to thank you all for coming. It was a great, great stream. We laughed. We had a good time. And maybe you learned a little bit of something about inchies and even twinchies. So good night, everybody. Have a blessed evening. Sweet dreams. And I'll see you again on, a, on Tuesday. Tuesday night. I'll see you again. Bye, everybody. Yeah, they are neat, Dawn. Very neat. Good night. Glad to hang with you, too. Okay. Don't forget the pictures. End. End. End.